Okay, well, um, I don't know if I've made this quite clear to everybody at this table and uh, everyone out there in podcast land, but the next Panel Jumper is going episode is going to be devoted to uh, atomic monsters in comics and, and film and stuff like that uh, and how those things kind of dovetail together. I'm still hammering out a lot of ideas, but I'm having great fun reading um, new and old comics about uh, kaiju and whatnot. Um, and I was very excited to uh, this new book from Image called Leviathan. It's a, a mini-series. I think it's running six issues. Uh, let's see. Let me give you the credits here. Uh, created by, uh, written in, uh, yeah, uh, all created by Lehman and Patara. Art by Nick Patara, written by John Lehman. Um, so it's a... Uh, it's a screwball little book. Uh, it starts out kind of meta. It's all these kids standing around the, uh, a movie theater, and there's a kaiju marathon happening, and they're talking about the merits of, of certain um, uh, nuclear monsters versus others. And they're, uh, you know, of course, they're playing fast and loose with properties we're already familiar with. Um, nuclear Mantis is the best monster. You kidding? Robozilla is clearly the best monster. And all those kind of fun conversations that, that nerds and uh, boys age 12 have all day long. Um, then we meet this young couple who are madly in love and they're at this party and everybody's bored. So um, a gentleman named Goth Jimmy pulls out his magic. Uh, I think it's actually, it might be, uh, it might be supposed to be a, uh, like a D and D board, but it's actually like a conjuring board and whoa and behold, he conjures up this evil giant monster that proceeds to tromp and trounce the city and uh, got to give, um, uh, uh, Patara credit for a really tremendous splash page of Leviathan. Uh, it's almost like a, 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 a where's a, a, where's Waldo. Where's Thank Waldo? you. I was going to say Walter, and that's not right. In the uh, <laughs> Jeff Darrow like it's very Jeff Darrow. But yes. you know what? Honestly, no one can do Jeff Darrow but Jeff Darrow. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just like you know, you sit there and look at a Jeff Darrow illustration, and you count the cigarette butts on the ground mm. and the pull tabs <laughs> and the doggy poops. You know, his, the detail he puts into things are just amazing. This is good, but it's not Jeff Darrow good. You, you know, if somebody puts dog poop in a comic, dude, they care. Have you sat down and looked? <laughs> <laughs> um, and it's 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 silly and full of tropes that we're very very familiar with, and it goes in and out, and then it hits a really tragic beat, and I'm like, oh oh, ooh. Uh, so I'm really curious of where it's going to go, but I also um, am grateful that this comic has come up because it's kind of exploring things that I'm I'm I'm, I'm still trying to gel for what I want to write for the the panel jumper episode. Um, so uh, I, I I need this series to actually uh, hurry up and finish so I can conclude some ideas. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But I did enjoy the book. Get on it, Layman. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Leviathan. Thank you, Cole.